In this video, I'm going to show how to bridge the gap when reading XML to get documents into a relational structure. Now, the document that I'm going to work with here is uh, Leica XML, but any XML document that is nested with repeating groups and things like that will work. So, so what do I mean by that? Um, well, here is an example. I'll open this. This is a uh, an XML document, and you can see it has points I'm interested in, measurements I'm interested in, and it's nested within a line name. So I want to uh, be able to grab the lines, the points, and the measures in a nice in a nice table. Okay. Also, I want to grab the job information. Okay, and um, and uh, things like that. I want to grab the measurement mode, the corrections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first open this. It's very simple with FME, but there's one um, dialog box that you have to visit to make this really easy. So here, um, let's go to CSV. Okay, and we'll say we're going to C colon slash temp slash like uh, CSV. Okay. And um, feature paths is what I want as follows. I've saved those. So these are the ones that I want. So I'm going to say OK. Um, I want to flatten, of course. So I enable flattening. And I want the parent ID, as this is what is going to be useful for me to build the keys that are going to join the relational tables. Okay. Now, if that's all I do, I'm not going to get what I want. And you'll see why when I uh, let this run. I'm going to get certainly I'm going to get my tables that I that I request, but you're going to find that you get too many attributes. If I look online, you're going to see I get measurements and points, and these these brackets here indicate repeating groups. So really, those are the other tables that I wanted. So the last thing I want is those also in there. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Okay, let's find the document and open with Workbench. CSV, okay, CSV, and in here we're going to say the same thing, elements to match, like this, okay, but in this we're going to flatten, enable flattening, we're going to turn on the ancestor as we did before, parent, okay, but now what we're going to do is we're going to say ignore specific sub-elements and we're going to paste in the exact same list. Okay, so what that's going to do is when I'm processing a line, for example, any of these other subtypes, sub elements that are within that are going to be ignored and skipped. And so I will not have those uh, objects within my line object. Okay, I'm going to have the reference, the points will have the reference to the lines. Okay, so you'll see what I mean when we take a look at this now. Okay. Now when I look at line, you see it only has the line information. It does not have anything else. And of course I'm using CSV here, but this could go to any database table. So, um, And of course I could fix up the names and things like that, anything else I want to do in FME. Um, but now I've got all this, I've essentially created this XML with a relational view. Of course I can run it and it's going to put the data into C, C temp. Okay, here, and uh, like a the CSV, and there is all the table. So if I open point, for example, I can open with uh, Excel if I want, and you'll see there is all the the information that I have. So it's just there, and there you go. And there I have, you know, we want to remove the XML fragments, XML ID, so we can do that. Okay, because obviously those are big. And uh, that's that. So what I would do is I would go in here now, user attributes, just get rid of the XML fragments. Okay, the matched element. Uh, we can get, we can leave that. So for and now, I'm going to rerun that, and um, it's just going to do its thing. And so there you go. I so there we go. Much better. Okay, and now we open say point with a CS with a Excel, and we can see that we have exactly what we want. There you go. There's the XML parent. There's its ID that links back up. And la 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 la. There we go. Thank you.